गुड मॉर्निंग जेंटमैन आप सबों को रामनवमी की हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं टुडे आई वुड ट्राई एंड टॉक अबाउट फिनोमना वी कॉल इट फ्लोटिंग डक सिंड्रोम इन आर सोसाइटी वी मस्ट हैव मेट मेनी पीपल हुआ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेस लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम but outwardly they didn't try and show there is absolutely no problem at all no struggle as a result they had psychologically and mentally down in the heart but apparently they look very happy as a result now they are decaying they are not able to find solution or even if they find the solution they will always attribute this solution to their own competence rather than help and assistance or probably any other you know help that they would got from others take for example i'll just uh, give a small story uh, in our very close relative of mine he has got three daughters a son with the passage of time the property has gone down with the passage of time productivity has gone down resources gets limited but problem have increased increased in the form of he has to educate four children he has to look after them he has to get them married he is struggling through is a very hard work in sense of person but in spite of all the problem that he has got it outwardly he is resilient he would not uh, ever come back and say he has got a problem he even if he did one probably he is taking it is for granted the stellar so let's talk about this particular phenomena what we call it a, a a floating duck syndrome floating duck syndrome okay what is floating duck syndrome the first and foremost you must have seen duck floating around strugglessly look at this particular picture itself this is the duck how effortlessly the duck and majestic it looks in the pond look at the duck gracefully gliding in the surface of a pond appears duck is effortlessly navigating the water is a picture of serenity and poise what a great idea you got it but beneath the tranquil surface lies a different reality here in front the duck's feet are engaged in frantic flurry activities paddling furiously to stay afloat this contrast of apparent ease and concealed effort forms the basis of intriguing psychological phenomena we call it today floating duck syndrome it captures the disparity between outward appearance and inner realities incongruent in sense incongruence or incongruity can have profound implication on both mental and physical well-being of the individual i gave you the story earlier also now let's see what is this it was coined by stanford university it says it's a it's gained prominence as a metaphor for pressure and pressure and expectation inherent in modern society okay why modern society expectation and need has increased every materialist in this materialistic world we want to get everything i still recollect back in our earlier days proud in my village we didn't even have electricity we all studied in lamp and still we were happy today we got in our village itself there almost 24 hours electricity there now people ask for ac they want you no know, fridge they want a cooler everything they want it 
As a result, now, if you want material expectations to increase your resources, our income should also increase. But that has not happened. So what is happening? Either you beg, borrow, or steal. So this modern society has put a lot of problem on all of us. It's a world of show. If my neighbor has got a beautiful carpet, probably my wife will also come back and tell me, why can't I afford to have it? It's a, it's a tendency for people to mask the internal struggle and the stresses behind a, what ornamental covering of outward success. Oh, I'm a very successful person. Look at any student who has stopped the class. How they say, oh, nothing, it is, I just passed. But he, can you imagine, you can all imagine that amount of effort that he must have put in behind the scenes, struggle through it to remain on top. It reflects the dual challenge of excelling academically or professionally while maintaining an appearance of effortless proficiency, particularly prevalent among high achieving individuals. These individuals endeavor to present an image of success and accomplishment while grappling the internal stresses that are there. We must heard of many, uh, many suicidal cases happening in Kota. Many students from different parts of the country have gone to Kota because that is supposed to be educational hub. And everyone goes there aspiring to be a doctor or probably IIT graduate, which may not happen. 10 to 20 percent would have made it automatically. Since expectation has gone up, there is frustration. And then frustration, since you can't meet the expectation that you got it, that leads to psychologically no, not, not so good state of mind. Underneath this calm exterior, there is anxiety, self-doubt, and relentless pursuit of achievement, a struggle hidden from casual observation. Normally, when you look at it, he's a very fine man. So floating duck syndrome is like a duck which is very graceful. It belies the intense effort required to propel itself forward. So if you want to do, excel something, you have to put in an effort. Effort putting in one thing, I must really know, do I have the competence or not? Thirdly, would I be getting support from people in and around in times of need or not. So there's so many factors come to play. Okay, now next comment. What causes this particular syndrome? Modern life demands constant juggling of responsibility across various domains, school, work, family, leisure. In our time, we had only one school in our village and all of us, irrespective of which, you know, whether you're uh, affluent or not, maybe you have to go to the same school. We will study there. But today, in our village itself, every parents want to put their children into English medium school. They neither learn English nor they know Hindi. And as a result, and the parents have to pay heavily from the pocket, which is a part of the earning, a complete great part of the earning goes into this. So the problem comes up, we must, we have to distribute our time, energy, and resources also, not only time, energy, and resources also to various activities. And since we have to distribute our resources in a different domain, school, work, looking out of family, pleasure, leisure, and all sorts of things that we talk about it, so we are always you know, running short of everything. Neither we have got enough time, nor we have got enough energy, nor we have got enough resources. Now the compromise is going to be taking place, or we have to find some other ways and means to get over this problem. The dynamic allocation of these resources often contributes to the development of this particular floating duck syndrome, where we strive to excel in multiple areas. 
and we always conceal the struggle and the facade that we put in our that we have got we are competent enough to handle or to achieve the success that i wanted go to bengal you will find every parents want the child to be good in academics good in sports good in music there are so many activities so the child is from morning to evening he is struggling from one place to another and the resource of the parents itself is distributed the juggling act can lead to hard work and a struggle be endured that is getting unnoticed hence there is always a imbalance between investment that we our investment in terms of uh, effort money and the result that we give i don't mind investing but i must get also to get the result also simply put uh, it's you know each of us is try trying to our best to swim across the water of success but many of us do not have clear map where to go the thirst for in thirsty thirst for insight we turn to our peers for guidance hoping to decipher the secrets of achievement he say how did you achieve it but no one is giving you going to give you the tips or no one give even someone keep to it may not be applicable to you we never truly really know how tough the journey is for others who have achieved success can i copy him can i help him probably not because his personality his resources his circumstances are totally different from mine i have to find my solution based upon my own competence more resources itself so there is always a disconnect between the perception and the reality which puts in lot of uh, pressure on our uh, on us no in macbeth shakespeare has said we are like a player stage we go on to the stage and he says we strut and fret and be gone forever so like an actor we come to perform certain act okay perform certain roles and when he you are in the stage you are putting in the pomp and show that is there that is the best of the actor available but behind that act there is a lot of stress and strain which no one sees when we under, underestimate the challenge of success we find ourselves stretched with thin resources multitude of tasks and uh, and trying to keep that the jugglers keep trying to keep ball in air and every time concentrated to let the blow but the ball remain afloat sometime some of the success be make at it but still many of our needs still remains unmet so what are the impact of it impact is while grappling with the inner turmoil we feel pressure to present an outward image of competence and strength we don't want to show others i am in a problem i am in a problem that is what we don't want to show to anyone as a result now what is happening we are stuck inside we are under pressure this increase of downward difficulties are because of societal norms and where society you know gives a stigma that look he don't have resources he don't have money so that so is they, they we call it stigmatized and i want to keep myself hidden from my society and i want to show everyone everything right there is no problem at all there is no problem at all and when we come out from the success of our say come out of the difficulties and achieve the success then we forget the struggle i will say it was my competence my effort and it is me and i i i comes to play so what is happening on there 
that to maintain a competent appearance, we may compartmentalize, we close ourselves, all the stresses and suffering, and we lock ourselves from public view. This internalization of struggle increases our burden and isolates us from the potential source of support. If you talk to your, prop, your problem with someone, some sort of solution may probably come. I'm not saying that you will really definitely get the success, but you will find some sort of you know, direction in which to move. We deceive ourselves into believing that we must navigate our challenge alone. And without, and I don't need any resources. We are all human. We are dependent upon each other. We cannot survive alone. This is, this is the fundamentally we have gone wrong. However, this inclination of self-isolate comes at a cost. What is the cost? By closing the possibility of support, we inadvertently barricade and hinder our ability to cope effectively. Because we do not know how to go about it. I may be having sleepless night. Our reluctance to acknowledge our vulnerability perpetuates a cycle of hidden struggle and simultaneously delays us the opportunity to connect authentically with others. Since we don't discuss the optimal solution which may come out, we are not able to get it. As a result, now, in conclusion, we can say the act of concerning struggle has profound implications on our well-being and connectedness. The illusion of effortless success masks a deeper truth, and that truth is true fulfillment and genuine achievement often requires us to embrace the effort exerted beneath the surface like a duck. You are struggling, and in that struggle, if I get some assistance, I should be able to get it. By accepting our vulnerability and acknowledging these efforts, we promote a culture of transparency and compassion, one where seeking help is not viewed as a sign of weakness, but rather a courageous step to move forward. I'm not telling that you should be bigger, but I'm I'm only, only suggesting that you must have necessary relatedness with others, network with us. We do not know whose assistance we would be requiring at what time. I'm standing here. Well, next moment, I may even fall down. What will happen? Who's going to come to me? We don't know. So as a result now, so though it is graceful to see a duck floating in the water majestically around there, so beautiful, serene environment. But the struggle with the duck touch beneath the surface of water is what is necessary. Now that the struggle which is beneath the surface can be reduced by what? By increasing our competence, by networking, by having uh, good people in and around us, and trying to increase our resources to the extent that we can. Hope this small lesson is learnt by us. And if you go to SSV, let's say talk about since SSV has been the prime focus of this channel, it is the struggle behind a success which you can, if which you have to show to the interviewing officer and in the psychology, that is what is going to dictate your success. How did you achieve that success? What was the label of struggle? Did you find optimal solution? Or it simply it kept on wandering around alone to find a solution? Or do you may have found a solution, but the time taken and the level of success may not be as appropriate as you would have got otherwise. Hope this brings to our uh, to brings us to understand that we must have good people in and around us. Thank you.